The graduation ceremony here was a mix of both joy and sadness, a milestone for the almost 800 seniors who have now graduated. But at the same time, it was also a memorial for the 17 students and staff who were murdered here in February. Sadness for the four seniors who died and did not get to graduate with the class of 2018 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. The mother of Joaquin Oliver holding up his diploma, wearing a shirt with the words, this should be my son. April Shentrip did not attend, instead posting her daughter's picture in cap and gown and tweeting, for me, it is too painful to celebrate without Carmen. We have no idea what the future holds. NBC Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon was a surprise speaker at the graduation, telling students to choose hope over fear. Keep making good choices. I'm not saying it because I think you need to learn it. I'm saying it because you already taught it to all of us. The bittersweet ceremony coming as the South Florida Sun Sentinel newspaper is reporting new dramatic details about the moments just before the massacre. Accused gunman Nicholas Cruz first spotted getting out of an Uber by Andrew Medina, a baseball coach and campus monitor who recognized Cruz. That's crazy boy, Medina told investigators in a sworn statement obtained by the newspaper and not verified by NBC News. Medina's statement reads, we had a meeting about him last year and we said, if there's going to be anybody who's going to come to this school and shoot this school up, it's going to be that kid. Medina said he radioed, relying on his training, he did not approach Cruz. Medina jumped in his golf cart and picked up school deputy Scott Peterson. Hearing shots, Peterson radioed for backup. But despite the gunfire, Peterson does not go inside the building. Later, speaking to a Sun Sentinel reporter, Medina contradicted his sworn statement, saying there was never a meeting identifying Cruz as a potential school shooter, and he did not recognize Cruz specifically when he arrived. Some of the graduating seniors later this morning will share what their summer plans are and how they will keep the fight up to limit the sale of certain assault weapons. Hoda. All right, Carrie Sanders. Carrie, thanks. And as Carrie mentioned, Scott Peterson, who we recall was the armed officer who was blamed for not entering the school during the shooter, later forced to resign. Well, tomorrow on today, he breaks his silence, his first interview since that fateful day. Would you acknowledge now that, you know, in this really important moment, you, you missed it? I have to. I, I live with that. You know, you know how could I not? I mean, I'm human. I, I, I mean, in the perfect world, oh, I would have said, oh, yeah, I know there was a shooter in there. Let me go to the third floor, find, find this person. You know, if I would have, at the point, if I would have known, I mean, knowing what I know today, I would have been in that building in a heartbeat. I mean, like I said, it was my kids. I, I mean, it's just I didn't know. And I mean, I, I, I rack my brain. I go, why? Wow. We sit down with Peterson. Um, we talk about it, I mean, almost moment by moment, what exactly he did, what was he thinking, what were all of the other factors that led to this breakdown in the law enforcement response that's been reported on extensively. He calls them my kids, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, many, many times yeah. he talks about how he feels, the remorse he feels, what he would say to the parents, how he defends his actions. It's a fascinating interview. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he's acutely aware of the criticism, too. Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, he was called a coward. Mm -hmm. So you can see our full exclusive interview. It starts tomorrow morning right here, only on Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.